Manzi. Me not flirt with them bitches who be begging for dollars. I'm not buying you no Gucci or no Balenciagas. Ain't no Fendi, ain't no Fenty, ain't no. Yo, my guy Rick, man. Yo, I'm super proud of my guy in front of me, man. Super proud, dog. Old homie, and mommy. I've been watching him do his thing humbly and apologetically for years. I have Temptation Island season two's on. Rick flirt with me, Rick, bro. What's going on? What's, What's going the word, on? my God, man? How you been, bro, man? I've been good. I've been good, you I, know? I know, um, I know life's been real busy, real interesting. Life's been real busy. Just a lot's been going on. Um, you know, just glad to be back home, man. My dog, man. So, like, um, how's, how's like, uh, the change in pace has been, though? Like, like, like for real, like... I'm just... It's just... Just coming back from the island um, and just being back home. Just bringing up this yep, just yeah. coming back from the island and just, you know, being back home and everything is just kind of dealing with the aftermath. And that's just, you know, the attention, you know, the, the social media attention um, and just, you know, just attention from your peers and everything and just people in your city. So, like, that's been a lot to deal with, you know, but I'm just, I'm handling it and just, you know, it's doing it's cool. Thing. My dog. So um, obviously, you know, if if there are any questions that you can't necessarily like answer mm -hmm. because of whatever the show of reasons, nah, show's you over. already know. Show's over. I can answer whatever. You so. can answer. I right, say that. We're say good that, to go. Say We're that. good so, to go. All right. So all right. So you already know with the museum TV, bro. One of the biggest things is how we give back to like the culture in terms of our of stories. You know what I'm saying? How we how we're just moving things forward. And we talked about how you basically like paved your own way for like, mm -hmm. you know, like just like the modeling wave and like in and now into acting. Um and for me, like, I guess my first question would be like how how exactly was it making the cut for the show? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like how how does one land a spot yeah. on Temptation Island, bro? Like, well, you know, honestly, like Temptation Island necessarily wasn't a show I was looking for. Yeah. Um, it kind of just fell in my lap. Um, you know, to be on, you know, reality TV and, and, and a show such as Temptation Island, you know, there's a big, you know, nationwide casting process. So, you know, there was a number of different, you know, casting interviews that I had to go through. You know, um, there, there's a Skype interview first. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, there's another Skype interview. Then, um, you know, they call you again. Then they, like, call your family and your friends. And then, you know, you get the big interview when they um, fly you out to L.A. And then that's when, you know, they put you through a whole, whole bunch of rigorous tests. Like, when we first got to L.A., we was over here you know, taking a whole bunch of psychological tests, yeah. personality tests, and then, you know, another test just to see Making what it sure is. Making sure you weren't crazy. Making sure you wasn't crazy yeah. because you got to understand, <laughs> you're going to be cooped up in a house with, you know, mad different people, a whole bunch of different yeah. people. So they just make sure, you know, you know how to drink and, <laughs> you know, and, and, and you're not wild. Wait, you know? so they had tests where, like, you know, they would have you, like, take shots, like, drinking, like, make nah, sure you can nah, hold nah. your liquor. But oh, oh, okay, they'll okay, have okay. you, like... Honestly, it was kind of like the SATs test, bro. Okay. Like, I never took so many tests just as far as, you know, dealing with how you think. They wanted to know how you think and just making sure you're just a stable person, you know? Yeah. And that's really what they wanted to know when you're taking all these personality tests. And when you're taking these tests also, they want to see how you match. They want to match you with certain singles that's going to be coming on the islands. They want to find your perfect match. So they know what they're doing with these psychological tests and personality tests because they want to match you with your best match to make the best show. And they want to make it spicy and they want you to have a connection. Yeah. So that's basically what it is. So someone say you got to be like the perfect specimen. Kinda, uh, kinda. Yeah, Cause I, I mean, mean, for me, like the amount, like the amount of tests for that, like, bro, like it's this, it's almost like, yo, like this was like some some real fake shit. Like, bro, we had four hours, four to five hours of testing, four that, to five hours of testing. That's crazy. You know, and it, I learned a lot about myself during those, you know, some of those tests. You know, I learned just that I'm a person, um, you know, that likes to, that's a go getter. Uh, mm. Like, you know, the after I took the test. They had like a doctor come and assess you, and the doctor was like, "Hey, I noticed here that you know you you're a real go getter." And I was like, "Damn, how you know that?" He's like, "Well, it says here." I was like, "Oh wow, okay." Say that. So I mean, I learned some stuff about myself doing these tests too. So Say that. it's just if you kind of go into that whole process, you know, being honest and being real with yourself, you kind of can learn about yourself in the long run as well. So okay, okay, okay. So I know you made your initial mark modeling. Um, landing placements with like major brands, like major brands, bro. You already know. 
Could you give those who aren't aware of your resume a rundown of those brands real quick? Just a few. Yeah. Um, like, so I've been modeling for some time now. Um, and some of the brands I got to work with, you know, I'm blessed to work with. You know, I've worked with uh, Reebok. I got to work with Puma. Yeah. Got to also work with, uh, you know, Nike mm-hmm. um, as of recently. So I did, you know, a big campaign for them. Did some stuff for Amazon, Dick Sporting Goods. So, you know, um, you know, a lot of athletic sneaker brands. And just, you know, a lot of lifestyle brands. So, you know, I'm just, I just like to stay in my lane. I kind of know my niche and I'm just kind of like, you know, stay to it. Athletic, you know, leisure, lifestyle, modeling. That's what I do. My dude, my dude, my dude. Okay, so going back to the show, what would you say was like your fondest memory? And what would you say was like something that was difficult for you to kind of deal with? So my fondest memory while being on Temptation Island was just like, honestly, the connections that I made with the people. And right. just seeing what goes into like production, mm. you know, just to put on a, a, a show like that, there's so much that goes into it, you know, just as far as, you know, all the cameras, you big know, fact, we, big fact, big I'm fact. over here <laughs> trying to, you know, have a conversation with, you know, make a connection with some of the ladies and you got a yeah. camera right there and you got to act like it's not, you know, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> so like, it was definitely some difficulty trying to like get used to that. And there's been a few times, you know, we'll be in our moment and you'll just see the cameraman kind of like, you know, dancing and doing their thing in the middle of the party and we're trying not to laugh. And yeah. It, that was going to be what I was going to ask you, bro, because that reminds me of like um, Martin, you know what I'm saying? You know how during you, certain scenes, You know, bro. yeah, during certain scenes, you'll catch, <laughs> there's certain scenes during Martin, you'll catch them laughing and so I could kind of relate because oh, when man. we're shooting and we're trying to be serious, you'll see the production, people running around and they're yeah, dancing bro. and you're trying not to laugh but you're trying to like you know stay on point and everything. But there's a lot of good memories, man. I made some good connections with people, you know, lifelong connections that you know that you know I'll still be in touch with till you know that's till the end fire, of time, bro. you know. So that's, like, that's fire, what's up. Man. But yo, one of the hardest part, my least fondest memory mm-hmm. was actually not being able to like connect and talk to anybody on the outside world. So for a mm-hmm. lot of people that do, do not know. Um, you know, when you're on reality TVs, you know, such as a Temptation Island, they take away your phones, laptops, t- tablets. That's crazy. Everything. So it just sucked not being able to reach back home and just talk to somebody back home. That is kind of wild. It, it, I, I, I wouldn't think they'd do that. Yeah. But like, okay. That is the hardest part. Uh, you know, that was the toughest part because, you know, there's times where you're going through something or, you know, you have difficult times. Yeah. Who do you call? You called your friends. You called your Big mother. Fact. You called your father, Big your, your, your homie. Big fact. But you couldn't do that out there. All you had was the guys that you was on the island with, the girls, and the confessional. They a wanted you. They wanted you. Anytime you was going through anything, time to get hard, go in the confessional. That's good. Get it out. Get it off your chest. <laughs> the confessional was like our diary, you know? If we needed oh, to man, like vent, bro. we was in the confessional. So the hardest part was just to be secluded and not having any connection to the outside world and back home and being able to talk. Cause yeah, bro, I would not have thought, but that all makes sense. Take it all yeah. away and then go into the confessional. That makes sense, bro. They want they, they do that on purpose. They want to get your you know genuine emotion yeah. and just to be able to connect with the people there. You but know, it makes sense. And that, it makes sense. It wow. does. Wow. It sucked, but wow. it taught wow. me a lot about myself. That's some real shit. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, 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 okay. So. Damn, that's dope, bro. I, I, I appreciate you sharing that for real, for real. Um, what, would you, what, what modeling skills would you say translated to acting that so, like helped out crazy? Well, um, like with modeling, one, uh, like one transferable skill that I like learned that I brought over to when I was on Temptation Island was like kind of know how to act when the camera was there. So like I was just joking around like, you know, you have production and everybody moving around behind you you know, the camera, when modeling, you have a whole bunch of stuff going behind the camera too. So there's times where you just have to zone out and just act like there's nothing back there, you know? Right, exactly. You're focused at the task at hand, the job at hand, you know, whether it be modeling, I'm over here shooting pictures, doing my thing, or I'm over here having a conversation with, you know, whoever, yeah. that's just basically what it is. So yeah. um, I, that was one of the traits that was kind of transferable, you know, just kind of- That act just, natural. Just, just act natural. And just, you know, kind of tune out what's going on, you know, behind the camera, behind the lens and stuff. So that's that's basically what it was. 
But it was it was definitely tough, man. My you know? dog, man, my dog, man. Yo, yeah, my man, Rick, man. It's so fire, bro. For real, for real, man. Um, all right, so we mentioned earlier how, you know, I, like we definitely feel like you cleared your own path, you know, with, with the modeling and, you know, um, kind of gra- um, kind of getting into, you know, acting now. Um, what would you say for somebody watching, you know, like a future, you mm-hmm. know, upcoming model, you know what I'm saying, trying to figure it out themselves? Like, what would you say was the most important thing that mm-hmm. um, you did during your times, like coming up that, you know, like, you know, definitely made sure, like, you feel like, yo, like, if I didn't do this, you know, I, I more than likely wouldn't have been here type deal. Well, I know, um, like, one piece of advice I could share is, like, you kind of have to tune out the negative noise mm-hmm. and the no's. You get more no's and you get yeses. Big fact. So, it's just, you can't let the no's kind of sidetrack you. You yeah. just kind of stay on point and just kind of have a ton of vision. You know what you want to do, so don't let the no's discourage you. You just got to keep pushing. And I know, like, you know, just even in Temptation Island, like, you know, they flew all the way down here. We made the final cut, and they told us no. Okay. You know? I unpacked my bags and everything. I didn't get a call till four days later, and they told us we made the show. So I could have let that know, you know, get in my head and got me my feelings, whatever, but... You could have blacked out on the phone. I could have blacked you know out. Like, nah, fuck y'all. Like, yeah. you know, y'all told me no. Now y'all <laughs> want me to come. But, I mean, things happen for a reason. And you just have to be prepared when your number's called. Right. So, I just learned with modeling, you know, that you just always have to be prepared. And That's you right. get more no's than you get yeses. And it's the same thing. Then entertainment game, yeah. music game. It rolls over. You know, it acting. Rolls over, you know, with bro. everything. You know and that's saying? just basically what it is, man. Right? Just got to stay diligent and just, you know, just always just be ready. Just be ready and yeah. just stay ready. And that's it. My dog, my dog, my dog, my dog. Rick is in the building, yeah, in yeah, the museum yeah. with me, man. Yo. Gotta come back to the museum. It's crazy. My like, as things are coming full circle. I was here maybe a couple of years ago, two, yeah, like three two, years ago. Yep. And that was you was talking about this. I was talking about like my ups and downs of modeling and being on my first movie, you know, albeit it was mm-hmm. background. Yo, thank you for saying, you know, it's all right, crazy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm so glad you said that. All right, so bro, I'm cooling with my man Prince. My man Prince is a designer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out my man Prince. Shout out to Prince. Yo, we're cooling. He's watching Detroit, bro. And I pop out on the screen. You pop out on the screen, bro. Yo, I'm I saying- I pop out in the first few we're scenes. Put, yes, bro. We're putting some up in the air, bro. When I uh-huh. tell you, I freaked out. I'm like, yo, that's my- That's my nigga. That's my, <laughs> that's my Yo, bro. Yeah. Yo, bro, that was crazy. Yo, yeah. he told me, yo, do not forget to mention. I'm so happy you mentioned Yeah, movies, bro. man. Go ahead, dog. Go and ahead, it's crazy. Wow. Like, I remember wow. we were talking about it here Fact. three years ago. Fact. Three, Fact. four years ago. And I was just talking about, like, you know, my first time being on the big screen, albeit it was, like, you know, background. I had my 30 seconds of fame, but, like, nah, that's that, it. it. It's all amazing, a part of the grind. Bro. It's, it's all amazing. a part of the grind, man. Amazing, bro. And it's just, you know, I'm not done yet. I still got more to do. Like, I'm it. just somebody that feels like I haven't done enough yet. Yeah. But it feels good to, you know, be able to just continue attacking my dreams um, and just, you know, putting off of where I'm from, Boston, Say not that. a pan, Say that. you know, Say Zos, that. Haitians, Say that. everywhere. Say so, that. You know? I mean, and I, or, hey, you know, that's what it I, is. Just, I just got to keep going. That's, that's it. That's it, bro. Look, I got Rick, man. My guy Rick, I appreciate you once again for pulling up, man, for real. For this for is sure, this is sure. real dope, man. I'm, 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 I'm glad you're able to see, you know. You know, my progression, I'm glad to see your man, progression, bro. I'm, I'm, you great, know I'm happy to see your progression, man. You feel like, me? Um, you know. it's, it's, it's definitely dope, bro. And I'm glad that we can have we can share these stories because these are the type of stories I feel like we're necessarily able to be told like in previous times. Like I, I just had a crazy, um, you know, segment with Dar Adams that I'm going to be putting out soon that, okay. you know, just details, just, you know, just, you know, just uh, Boston history type stuff. But you already know, bro. That's, that's neither here nor there. Look, my man Rick's in the building. <clears throat> I'm over here losing my voice talking to my dog, man. Look, <sighs> subscribe, 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 y'all, subscribe. please. You know what I'm saying? Drop any comments for my guy. You know what I'm saying? Any questions? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Man, hit me up um, in the DMs. Yeah, Make you know sure y'all follow Holla, me. My man, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Where, where can Make people sure follow, y'all follow you, bro? Me at Rick if you already don't know. Rick Fleur, R I C K F L E U R on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. You know, so just hit me up on there. Um, I answer everybody. Um, well, at least I try to. Like, yeah. my DMs is. Type crazy right now. Yeah, I'm not even gonna cap right now or sound full of myself, but 
the DMs is type crazy, but I try to get to everybody, yeah. and I appreciate everybody for rocking with me and showing me love, man. I show love to those who show me. I'm yeah. I'm no better than you are. I just Respect. kept grinding, and I ain't quit. Respect. So. Respect, man. So once again, man, make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. It's the Museum TV, Boston's premier vlog. It's your man, Noble. I Boston got my guy. Boston premier's vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you're saying? Look, 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 look. I'll see y'all next time, man. This is another dope one, man. Make sure y'all pull up. Just go insane, give me brain, show me that you a scholar. Put your hands on your bottom and make it move in a circle. Bust it down in a split. It take way more to hurt you. Said she want me to hit it. I told her patience of virtue. I let my thing hang. I don't Hey, it. it's Noble, creator of the Museum TV. And I just wanted to thank you for tuning into Boston's Premier Vlog. If you like this video, please leave us a like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. I'll leave a few other videos around here for you, just so you can see how we're exhibiting the culture stories.